Life is about to change tonight for a 32-year-old Moorhead woman we first told you about just over a year ago. Lizzie finally has her own home that's specially equipped for her unique needs. This will be her first night there, and the CCR client got to see it for the first time today. And WDAY News reporter Kevin Wallivant was there. Today, CCRI staff waited to bring the big reveal to Lizzie. You cried because of your new house? Should we look at it? Yeah. All right, do you want to start in this room? Her first look at her finished home. Do you want to check out this painting? Go, it's on this wall. Yeah. For the past three years, CCRI raised just over $300,000 from hundreds of donors who wanted to help Lizzie get from this she could pull that out. I mean, I, she it's hum, superhuman strength. A dark, sparse apartment. Um, I think her fridge is even empty. To this, a bright place to call her own. And it's I, I know that Liz is going to be much calmer living in a place that's got natural light. And it's just, it's so beautiful. There is not anything like it. Lizzie, who is 32, is sweet and loved by everyone at CCRI but she has lived with medical and emotional issues her entire life. The biggest safety concerns, behaviors that included ripping knobs and cupboard doors off hinges, eating furniture stuffing, glass, and more. And so this new house makes all of that impossible. Knowing that she'll be in a safe environment, knowing that her staff have a great environment to provide care to. The TV is encased behind plexiglass. Outlets are on the ceiling. No kitchen knobs. Countertops, no edges so that nothing can be peeled away, picked away with it. You can see with the um, trim around the windows, it's glued, it's nailed, it's indestructible, essentially. And nothing on the wall, except... Look at how cool that is. <laughs> painted murals of her family dog and her loved ones. Office. Nervous. Yeah. It's okay to be nervous. Yeah. yeah. This may be Lizzie's favorite room, a special sensory space where she can find calm during difficult times. The lights change colors, and there's a giant beanbag to lay on. <laughs> oh my gosh. CCRI staff will live here with Lizzie 24 7. Family, like her mom Claire, who was a nurse at then Maricare and later adopted Lizzie is amazed that CCRI pulled this off, raising thousands of dollars and a new home for Lizzie. Yeah, if she's worth it. <laughs> Her life is worth it, yeah. Kevin Wallivan, WDAY News. And because the house can't have shades or draperies, that's built right into the window glass. And we hope Lizzie has an awesome first night in her new house tonight. Yep, sweet dreams, Lizzie. <laughs> yeah, yeah.